Wandalorians, it's time for a new episode of Wanderings, the new series designed to keep you up to date with all things happening within the Wanchain ecosystem. While the volatility in the space persists here at Wanchain, we firmly believe that persistence is key. Built on a bedrock of bleeding edge cross-chain technology, Wandalore stands together and is stronger than ever. While the topic of cross-chain value transfer hasn't taken the forefront just yet, the Wanchain team continues to build the solutions of tomorrow today. Join me, Wandalorians, as we review some significant developments taking place within our very own ecosystem. But first, let's review some key network metrics. Currently sitting on a block height of 24.2 million, with an uninterrupted uptime of approximately five years, sporting 19 connected networks, 30.1 million total transactions, and 471.3 million flowing through WANchain's decentralized cross-chain infrastructure. As time goes on, the decentralized utility that WANchain offers only increases, and in turn, so does its transactions. Because WANchain just exceeded 26 million total transactions, totaling upwards of $450 million flowing through WANchain's decentralized bridges. One thing is abundantly clear. The need for decentralized cross-chain technology is needed more than ever by retail, institutions, and enterprises alike. Now, while there have been other competitors popping up around the space, there really is no substitute for experience. Our longevity in the space speaks for itself. Our very own Dr. Weixia Zhang, Vice President of Engineering at Wanchain and the Regional Head of China at the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, recently had a discussion with Cointelegraph on the topic of enterprise smart contract adoption. Anonymity remains an issue for large companies that smart contracts today do not have a mechanism to verify a user's identity. In turn, bad actors can exploit flaws in a smart contract's design, which can result in stolen assets by unidentified actors. This is a major concern as DeFi hacks continue to increase. Concerns aside, it's notable that solutions are being developed to advance smart contract capabilities. Industry experts are, therefore, confident that enterprises will use smart contracts in the future. There are multiple promising technological innovations occurring in the public blockchain space. As the blockchain space matures to a new and exciting core component for the world's forthcoming financial system, Wanchain patiently sits at the nexus point of which all blockchains intersect and more and more bridges are being established all the time, such as new WAN bridge token integrations like FLAT and new network integrations like Tron. The Tron network becomes one of more than 19 mainstream public networks connected by Wanchain's wide area network of blockchains. The first Tron asset supported by Wanchain's bridges is the Tron network's native coin, TRX. The first open route is Tron to Wanchain. Additional assets and routes will be added in the coming weeks based on market demand and to support other products, meaning Wandalorians now have the option to move their cryptocurrency holdings onto the Tron network in a decentralized and permissionless way, all from the convenience of the WAN bridge. If you would like to learn more about how to execute a cross-chain transaction to the Tron network, make sure to review the TRX cross-chain transaction guide, which can be found on WANchain's Medium. We are dedicated in providing our users an abundance of choice. And being the community-driven project that it is, we rely on Wandalorians to determine which silo blockchain should be connected next. And based on the results of our recent community poll, it looks like the people are clamoring for Tezos. Thank you to everyone who participated in this poll because when Wandalorians speak, Wanchain listens. Wanchain will not stop building bridges until the entire blockchain landscape is connected. But while the connection of silo blockchain are very important to the maturation of the cryptocurrency ecosystem, the free flow of stablecoin assets across those silo blockchains is paramount. And that is exactly why the Wanchain team introduced the native to native transfer of specific assets across siloed blockchains, entirely removing the need for the use of wrapped assets and the lock, burn, mint, unlock mechanism the crypto industry has become so accustomed to. To date, there has been approximately $5.2 million of USDT X flows and $3 million worth of USDC X flows make sure to visit bridge.wanchain.org today and try usdt or usdc x flows for yourself stay tuned wandalorians rumor has it that tron will be added to the usdt usdc x flows architecture in the coming future
And as if that wasn't enough, Linny, VP of Business Development, hinted at the possibility of native Ethereum X flows. We simply can't wait to see what its future has in store. But Wanchain hasn't just increased its bridge and X flow integrations, its rich DAP ecosystem is also expanding. Just in time for the World Cup, we recently welcomed Football Forecast. Now football fans could leverage your knowledge and potentially profit in the process. Support your favorite teams by participating in WanChain's very first football prediction market. Visit fifa.wanswap.finance today. And for those who are new to the ecosystem, make sure to check out the Coursera course made by NC. Learn all about blockchain interoperability projects and the related opportunities and challenges presented by their implementation. Bolster your blockchain and cross-chain knowledge by visiting Coursera.org today. And make sure to catch up on Wanted, a one-on-one -on -one in depth interview style series designed to help you get to know Wanchain leadership and notable builders within its ecosystem. In episode three, we had the pleasure of speaking to Silver Lake, a team member from Zoo Ecosystem, which is focusing on decentralized cross-chain game fi. Learn all about its first blockchain game to be released, Zoo Racers the importance of NFT in the future of GameFi, and why people should be excited about the future of Zoo Ecosystem. Participate in Zoo Racer's third beta test, which began on the 17th of December and will last until the end of 2022. Be an integral part in helping Zoo Ecosystem refine Zoo Racers simply by playing the game and potentially getting some cool incentives in the process. Make sure to visit zoo.games to get started. But while Zoo Racers is the first, it most definitely is not the last. Zuno Elemental Madness is being developed as we speak. Inspired by the famous card game Uno with some extra twists and tricks added, each player has a chance to win and earn from its play to earn mechanics. And while we can't share too much detail at this time, stay tuned Wandalorians, more to come on this exciting topic. But to all the Zoogene holders out there, a congratulations is in order. Zoogenes, the zoo ecosystem's playable generative NFTs, recently breached the one-year-old mark. Collect them, play with them, earn with them, trade them, and everything in between. Make sure to head over to OpenZoo today. And while we happen to be on the topic of happy birthdays, shout out to the Wanchain Bridge Node Groups for reaching the two-year mark. Thank you for playing such a critical role in securing and sustaining the WanChain ecosystem. Congratulations to WanSwap for being made a new data source for Dia multi-chain Web3 oracles. Dia will be scraping all trades made from WanSwap, meaning the price of WanChain based assets can be relayed accurately across different blockchains, increasing the plausibility of WAN assets to be included in various protocols and decentralized DeFi products. In addition, WanLen also secured a partnership with Dia where Dio will assist Wanlin in obtaining accurate price data for Wan-based assets, which helps Wandalorians access decentralized collateralized loans. Also, make sure to catch longtime Wandalorian and crypto influencer Crypto Reigns interview with Linny, VP of Business Development at Wanchain. Make sure to watch this insightful discussion as many significant topics are discussed, mainly the shortcomings of centralized systems and how trustless systems fix those vulnerabilities. But while technical developments are important, we take pride in our community initiatives as well. Let's take a second to congratulate our three winners of the Wanchain book giveaway. Thank you to all those who participated in making this book giveaway a success. But Wandalorians, where one giveaway stops, another begins. The Wanchain winner giveaway is currently underway. The real question is, have you been naughty or nice? Avoid the naughty list by completing a variety of Wanchain themed tasks. Do so and you might just find yourself on the nice list. Upon the completion of these tasks, you will then receive a raffle ticket. Act now, Wandalorians, and stand a chance to win some amazing prizes. One winner will receive a brand new Ledger Nano. Four winners will receive 1,000 WAN, and 10 winners will receive 100 WAN. Wanchain's interested in expanding the amount of supported assets into its XFlow architecture. With Tron and Ethereum potentially on the way, we would like to know how Wandalorians feel about including Bitcoin in the XFlow offerings and whether it should include wrapped Bitcoin. Make sure to leave your feedback in a comment below. When it comes to the mass adoption of truly decentralized cross-chain technology, we strongly believe 
It's not a matter of if, but when. While the maturing cryptocurrency space still struggles with custodial solutions and the inevitable counterparty risk that comes from using them, WanChain continues to work tirelessly towards our vision of a permissionless and decentralized economy. And we won't stop until our vision is realized.